Hello, children of Open Door. I'm so excited you're joining me today. My name is Jason. It is great having you today. Today, we're going to talk about a great story about Jesus teaching in Nazareth. But before I do, did you know that Jason was in the Bible? That's right. Jason of Thessalonica was an early Christian believer mentioned in the New Testament in Acts and Romans. So before I tell the story today, I want to change into one of my favorite Bible characters. I'm going to give you a clue. It's in Acts and Romans. That's right. It's Jason. I'm back. Thank you for letting me change into one of my many favorite Bible characters, one of which is Jason. So today I want to tell you a story about Jesus teaching in Nazareth. This is from the book of Luke in the New Testament. But before I um, tell you the story, let's pray. So will you um, bow your head and close your eyes so we can pray? Dear Lord, we just thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for um, sending your son to die on the cross. And um, he rose from the grave that we celebrated last week for Easter. Lord, we pray for the kids of Open Door this morning. Lord, we ask you to watch over them, protect them, keep them safe, Lord. And we pray that your word that we share today would reach their hearts and that they would understand. In your name we pray, amen. So today I want to tell you a story about Jesus um, teaching in Nazareth. So some of you all may remember that Jesus um, lived in Nazareth when he was a young boy. But today the story is about when he has all grown up. He, had, he was traveling all around and taught people about God. So on the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue. The synagogue was a building where Jews met together to pray, worship God, and learn about scriptures. It's kind of like Open Door. We go to Open Door Church to pray, worship God, sing songs, and to learn about scriptures through the Bible. One of the ways people worship God was by listening to God's word. So today, um, or in the story, Jesus took God's word, which was in a scroll, and he unrolled the, unrolled the scroll. The scroll had words on it from the prophet Isaiah long ago. Does anybody remember where the prophet Isaiah, which book of the Bible he was in? Do you need a clue? It was in the Old Testament. The prophet Isaiah was in the book of Isaiah. In the Old Testament. So Jesus took the scroll and he read it and said, God's spirit is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captive that they are free, to help the blind people see, to free people who have been treated badly, and to, now, to announce that God's favor is on us. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll and he handed it to a man who worked in the synagogue, and he sat down. But the people of the synagogue started um, staring at Jesus. They were waiting for him to say something, because back then in the synagogue, Jesus stood up, he read from Isaiah, and then he sat down. And guess what Jesus said next? Jesus said, these words came true today. Yes, Isaiah's word came true, because Isaiah's words were about Jesus. So Isaiah in the Old Testament predicted or foretold that Jesus was coming, the Messiah was coming. And when Jesus read the words, he fulfilled that prophecy. So guess what happened? Many people were excited. They were happy to know that the Messiah had came. And Jesus was saying wonderful things because Jesus knew the people, um, but also Jesus knew that some people in Nazareth would not accept him. Because he said in the Bible, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. So Jesus told the people about the times when God used prophets to help people. But when Jesus was done talking, some of the people were angry at Jesus. 
Maybe they felt threatened by him. Maybe they didn't understand Jesus, but they were. So, you know, so because of that, Jesus moved on to the next town and continued to preach the gospel to other people. Before we go today, I thought it'd be fun to do a quick song. Who here knows a peace like a river? It goes, a peace like a river, a peace like a river, a peace like a river in my soul. So today I thought I would do it. But as some of you may know, I love the accordion. So I'm going to try to play it on the accordion while you sing along. But you'll have to sing real loud for me, okay? So I'm going to need a lot of help, okay? Are you ready? Thank you all. It was a great to have you all here. And for the children and parents, thank you for joining us today and be on the lookout for next week's lesson. I hope you all have a blessed week. Thank you.